let's see what's going on this week. We have a viewer update. This was the uh, CEF update viewer, which uh, now has support for uh, more, basically more types of video codecs than it used to. Um, should be able to do live streaming from YouTube and Facebook now. Um, there are still some streaming type services that have issues. They're not all addressed by this uh, by this update, but it does uh, get us in, in a better state than we were before. Um, in terms of work that's going on right now, uh, RCs, we have uh, Love Me Render number four. That is that has some some graphics issues that have been kicking around for a while, and uh, more recently we've added in some uh, kind of high priority graphics work that mostly dates back to to the EEP release that we're trying to get fixed. So um, hopefully that will be our next uh, our next release. But uh, right now we're still cranking on getting some issues fixed. Um, Ptolemy, do you want to? Say anything about uh, what's going on there? Uh, just a couple. We have about half a dozen bugs, I think, for graphics-related stuff left to do. Uh, focus on specularity and HUD uh, issues, so that should make a bunch of people happy once that actually gets done. Uh, yeah, we're just plugging away at it, trying to get it out. Yeah, seems to be coming along well so far, but uh, yeah, that. that it's going to take a bit longer to get everything wrapped up there. Um, let's see, we've got a uh, maintenance viewer in RC now. This is Maint ARAC, which um, hadn't we hadn't had a, a Maint viewer in RC for a while, so that that's a good milestone. We we try to have one of those in the waiting in the wings most of the time. Um, and then we have the tools update viewer. That is the uh, the compiler. Uh, updates that'll take us to VS 2017, and I don't remember what it does with Xcode, but I think it updates Xcode as well. Um, and that is in pretty good shape, uh, as you know, as we say, it's in good enough shape to be an RC, but it does have a couple of issues that have turned up that we're still uh, still poking at. Um, so depending on timing, any of those could be the next one out. Um, but uh, we're especially trying to get Love Me Render out as quickly as we can if we can choose uh, graphics wrapped up. Uh, for project viewers, um, in terms of stuff that's been updated recently, we had legacy profiles uh, in, in the works for a while. That was waiting on a um, that was waiting on a web fix, which just went out yesterday, I believe. So if that if that resolves things to the extent that we think it does, then I'm hopeful that we'll be able to get the the profiles viewer out, or at least up to RC soon. Um, let's see, there's the copy-paste viewer for, for build tools, which um, has, has had a couple of passes of uh, UI changes, and I think still needs a little more work, but that one shouldn't be too far away from uh, from getting to RC either. And there's and the mesh uploader. I'm not really sure what's the blocker for mesh uploader. To tell you the truth, I think we have uh, I think we may still have one or two issues open there. But uh, anyway, I should have quite a lot of stuff coming in the fairly near term. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't think any of these currently active issues have a. a ton of new work. It's just kind of getting stuff wrapped up. Um, in terms of things that are farther from going out, uh, the 360 Snapshot Viewer and Project Muscadine have both been on hold for a while. Uh, Muscadine is NMH customization. Uh, I'm still hoping we can get back to uh, either or both of those at some point, but we don't really have a time frame for it. And I think that's about it for uh, viewer stuff. So what's going on with you guys? Any uh, Questions or uh, new stuff going on? Actually, if if I could jump in for, uh, we rolled a new simulator to preflight this morning, and it addresses uh, it addresses the off uh, the failure to deliver off uh, inventory offer offers when you are offline in the lab viewer. 
uh, if I can make a plea for people to uh, to, to please test the the third party uh, third party viewers. I believe it's on uh, uh, preflight. Th it's on preflight three. I had a I had a list here. I'll, I'll get that list to you. Um, and it, anyway, make sure that that I have not broken the uh, not broken the third party viewers through the old UDP. Oh yeah, that's that's an important update. Sorry, I missed you earlier, writer. Um, yeah, that should be a, that should be a good thing to have out there. Um, I also. Anybody else not here, Ryder? I was hearing a minute ago. Um, Ryder, we also had a question about the TCO viewer. I, I think the answer there is that that's something you were working on and you've basically gotten pulled off onto stuff these days. Uh, yeah, saying, um, right? I've had no time to look at the TCO viewer. Um, the we spl I split the TCO viewer uh, for the the... Texture cache, the texture cache update, um, and uh, the HTTP2 uh, switchover. So there, there are now uh, two uh, dirt viewers. Um, the HTTP2 is probably going to have to wait till after uplift. Uh, was was sort of the feeling I have been getting from uh, from ops. Uh, the the TCO viewer, um, I'm unsure when I'll when when I will get back to it. Or uh, uh, I think uh, Callum is, I believe Callum is also looking at that, but I don't know where yeah where his priorities are. Yeah, I should mention that we uh, this isn't out as a project viewer yet, but I should mention that we um, also have a new viewer uh, under development for updating the caching system. The first thing that that'll, and, and um, it's, it's intended as a, a kind of a general overhaul of, of you know, viewer side uh, file based caches. Um, the first thing that it's going to be applied to is uh, replacing the VFS, but once we have the infrastructure in place and working with VFS, the plan is to move forward to using that with other things so and uh, probably the next thing that would be applied to would be so um, that's something to watch out for but uh, as I say it's not quite in a state where we can put anything public out yet stages Anastasia it some of the technology in that viewer could be uh, could be applied to uh, inventory fetches but I don't know where the plan is for that. Yeah, we have an awful lot of different kinds of caches in the viewer right now, including uh, including for inventory. Um, so uh, yeah, that that would definitely be another area that we could uh, that we could kind of pull under the same umbrella if we if we wanted to do that. Yeah. So are you primarily talking about issues with just getting inventory to download properly in the first place? I assume this isn't this isn't primarily about cache problems, is it? Yeah, that's a good point. Inventory is is yet another area. As I say, we've got an awful lot of different caches. Um, you know, I think I think getting textures working better is probably going to be the top priority. Uh, you know, for for follow-on work, but uh, the the inventory is uh, is a thing that uh, that people are concerned about. Oh, hi, Lily. Yeah, I'm glad you can make it this time.
I see we have uh, Beck and Polysale here. We've we, um, we've gotten some interesting updates uh, from them recently about issues with uh, the way we were handling normals on meshes and um, some some interesting findings. It we've looked at it a little bit. It seems like there's probably at least two different issues. Um, could be more. Uh, most of our graphics. Uh, Folks at this point are working full time on uh, Love Me Render, so we can get these these uh, last bugs wrapped up. But as soon as we can uh, get them off of that, then we're going to spend a bit more time. You broke up just a little bit for me, Veer, at the end there. But uh, the, the normals issue is definitely uh, a, a repeatable issue, uh, particularly the debug normals are being calculated wrong. And even though that may not be the lighting issue, um, it's definitely possible that you know it's the same piece of code being reused. So um, it's an interesting problem to look at as soon as Load Me Render goes out the door. Well, one possible uh, thing we were thinking about is that maybe the renders, the debug renders are being normal, being rendered wrong is because it's using the incorrect normals in the first place, right? So, because that one picture there was really kind of showed conclusively that the lighting was definitely being applied wrong. So, yeah, so if those normals are wrong, then a debug renders using the same thing, then that might be yeah, definitely keep an eye on that. So, thanks for all the feedback. Appreciate that, Izzy. Yeah. So if we do find fixes related to that, um, there's a the question of where they're going to go. Since we already have the mesh upload viewer um, in uh, in a project viewer state and probably pretty close to RC, um, we might want to pull changes into there. But uh, it's kind of how big a set of changes it turns out to be and how long they take to track down. Okay, yeah, Beck, thanks for keeping us all in the loop on that. Appreciate all the digging you guys have uh, been doing so far. All right, so I guess that's probably about it for uh, updates from our end. Any other questions, concerns, new cool stuff going on in the world of third-party development? Uh, yeah, if, if you do have another patch on the mesh upload, um, uh, yeah, please let us know. We, um, I don't think we have a ton of additional work currently queued up for mesh upload. So, I mean, if we're, if we're going to try to add any additional patches, uh, get a hold of those soon and it's still possible that we decide to defer
depending on uh, you know kind of the scope of the changes as well. Yeah, well, it is it is nice to have those changes uh, that we already have. Mesh upload has been uh, kind of a neglected area for quite a while. We haven't made a lot of changes since we first um, first added mesh upload. Load these quite a few years ago at this point. Uh, yeah, so I, you know, I think what's going to be happening in the, in the near term is that we're going to continue trying to improve viewer side caching, including revising the texture caches. Um, but it's probably not going to be happening sort of as part of the TCO viewer, which is, uh, has kind of gotten sidelined by writer going to do other things. Um, so I, you know, I think you're going to continue to see I think you're going to see improvements in caching, you know, coming, uh, you know, in, in new releases, uh, including texture improvement, whether, whether or not it winds up being called TCO.
All right. Well, anything else we should cover this week? Uh, yeah, we, we did hire developers to work on the rendering pipeline. Those are uh, two of the folks who are standing uh, up top there, uh, Euclid and Ptolemy. Um, and yeah, so right now what they're working on is the, uh, the eat bug fixes we were just talking about. Um, but uh, Vulkan is, uh, is a technology that we're looking at. Um, you know, I, I think the I think the likelihood is that we are going to be making, you know, serious, uh, serious, serious pipeline changes uh, at some point in the future. Um, it's it's still TBD whether that's going to include uh, uh, Vulcan or something else. Um, one issue with Vulcan right now is that a lot of the uh, existing PCs out there don't have uh, support for it. Um, one one change we're putting out in a soon viewer that maybe LMR is uh, just some additional logging so we can actually detect what percentage of currently in use machines uh, have Vulcan. But you know, obviously that's a moving target. To people's uh, people's technology does change over time, and a fraction of people that have access to things like that is is certainly. Oh, sorry about that. Real quickly, Willie, I put the uh, list of three regions that have the uh, the preflight code in, into chat for you. Yeah, we saw about the uh, moving back to arm or or moving to arm for for the um for the max that's that's an interesting development uh but uh, yeah we're just starting to kind of process that don't have any immediate reaction You could have told me. Do you remember what what happened to that logging change? Is that in? Uh, you could. Uh, is that in LMR or somewhere else? It's in LMR. Yep. Okay. So that's that's in an RC now, which should be getting us a fair amount of data, and it'll be in uh, in the default viewer soon, and which should give us even more. Uh, actually, I don't think there's that much platform-specific stuff, like, I mean, ISA, the, the low-level stuff. I mean, for the most part, we've abstracted away off to three different platforms, so... Uh, shouldn't be a whole lot of stuff. There's probably a couple snippets here and there. Who knows? Uh, so, but for the most part, we've got pretty good platforms across three different... So it should be good there. Pre-compile, right? <laughs> Famous last yeah. words. We, we do have a fair amount of... SSE code out there, um, so I imagine that if we're trying to be native ARM, we'd have to we'd have to do something with some of that. The libraries would be would be where I'd I would expect we'd have to do some work on that mm -hmm. regards. I mean, Apple did demonstrate they took, uh, was a 2 meter off the uh, Mac store there and they able to run it under the emulator there and uh, that worked just as is. So that was kind of cool to see. It's promising. So definitely have to explore that as uh, as we get dev kits later this year.
Yeah, definitely back. Definitely. Uh, I don't. I don't think anything we're doing right now is specifically aimed at improving performance on newer hardware. Um, obviously, we have people with a very wide range of uh, hardware out there. Um, some of them have pretty advanced current machines, and and some of them are you know kind of on the other other end of the spectrum. Um, so, you know, generally we we have to. Uh, you know, kind of look to to balance our, you know, both our efforts and uh, and uh, you know what kind of results we're getting to uh, to try to kind of cover to cover that whole range. Um, but I think uh, you know if if we um, once we get on to the to the stage of being able to do kind of more fundamental work on the graphics pipeline, that that's certainly going to be one of the benefits is that uh you know more current systems are going to to notice the benefit to a to a large extent since they're going to be the ones that support all the latest libraries and have more current hardware yeah yeah so th those are some of the things we'd we'd be looking at in in uh pipeline overhaul but we're not really at the stage of doing that yet we're still uh we're still more in the post EEP uh, bug fixes stage right now.
long term it, it'll be a good thing uh, I mean cores are here to stay right I mean last decade was the decade of quad core this decade's the decade of octa core so cores are here <laughs> they're not going away so we have to get on board at some point and question is uh, figuring out how the best way forward A multi car definitely provides a performance benefit, but it's not free, right? It's, it's all the set of time you gotta do, and and sometimes you, you really can't multi thread certain things. But uh, rendering, thankfully, is uh, able to do that. We're able to submit all the different uh, objects and how they get rendered. And uh, moved over to the GPU, and definitely we could take do some work there to make that a little uh, more efficient on the cores and GPU. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's one of the things we're still need to figure out exactly is are we CPU bound, GPU bound, IO bound, and specifically what parts of the code base are just showing those symptoms and Yeah, when when we're uh, working on on uh, pipeline improvements, I'm sure that trying to improve multi-threading is going to be a component of that. Yeah, hey, Becca, if you're seeing stuff like that, just shoot us, shoot us an email. We'll take a look at that. Yeah, as we've been uh, digging through the code, you and I have been sort of talking about uh, kind of what would be nice to do for a cleanup, so trying to make manage some of this complexity a little nicer and at the same time uh, get a little bit of performance wins here and there.
I guess the too long didn't read version is uh, yes, we're aware of performance issues. With uh, also aware of multi-threading needs to happen at some point. We don't know when that's going to happen yet. We're still kind of investigating, prioritizing that, and collecting data. Finish exactly track down where the hotspots are. So we're aware of it. And we're looking into it. Thanks, Mike. All right, well, it looks like we may be about out of topics for this week. Um, I'll call the meeting, and anybody who wants to stick around, they can. But uh, anyway, have a good weekend, all, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks, everyone.